been some really key innovations that I feel like have really changed the way marathons have been run over the years. One of the most important ones is sports drinks. I remember hearing stories from the Boston Marathon not that long ago, back when I was born in 1982. You know, the Duel in the Sun with Dick Beardsley and Alberto Salazar, and hearing that these guys were just taking random cups of water from random people on the road, and that's how they got their fluids. So they didn't know what they were getting when they were taking these cups. It could be warm coffee, it could be a sports beverage, it could be a beer, it could be water. That's something that's totally different today. Now elite athletes, they get their own special bottle that they set out every single 5K of the race and they can put in there whatever they want. And I feel like sports beverages are going to provide the energy that we need to get to the finish line faster than we ever have before. Back in the 70s, elite marathoners would typically run 150 to 170 miles a week, which is an incredible amount of volume. I've never done that much in my entire life. Today you're seeing more elite runners doing between 100 and 120 miles a week. The only difference is the quality of mileage is extremely high. Um, the speed in which these miles are run is way higher than in the past. They're trying to develop their speed to where their 5Ks are faster, their 10Ks are faster, and then that trickles all the way up to the marathon distance. So if you want to be a great marathon runner today, you have to work on your speed. The type of therapy that elite runners have been getting has really changed a lot in the last 20 years. Going from traditional massage, which I still get traditional massage, and acupuncture, and I still get acupuncture, to ART, which I feel like is one of the key innovations recently that's helping runners run faster than ever before. ART is just a way of separating the muscle tissue that gets bound together when you train super hard. And what I've experienced with ART is coming into an office, not being able to touch my toes, only being able to get to my shins, and then just getting a simple five minute ART session in my hamstrings, and all of a sudden I'm touching the floor. And you know, in years past, people would just be like, oh, you need to stretch more. And it's not the stretching that I needed to do. I needed to have my muscles separated from each other so that they could flow freely and not have friction between them so that I could get that range of motion that they were designed to have. I feel like the tactics of marathon running in the last five years have really changed. They've gone from guys going out at what they would consider conservative pace to now a whole bunch of runners going out at close to world record pace or on world record pace through the halfway mark. And what I find is interesting about it is most of the guys end up coming back. They end up blowing up, not running as well, but that doesn't deter them from trying again the next time out. And I think that's what's allowing for so much breakthrough in the marathon. You know, guys are going out, one guy makes it, finishes, sets a world record. The other 19 guys that were with them at 13 or even 20 miles blow up, run 10 minutes slower, but that doesn't stop them from trying again the next time out and really that's what it takes is putting yourself out there putting yourself in a position to where if you have a great day you could be the one setting the world record. Yeah.